the chain rule in differential calculus. I called it my old good friend and for a very good reason. It can simplify complex calculations if paired with our calculator. Hi guys again, this is June Bird, founder of Matalino. And to see what I mean, let's jump into the discussion. There are three basic formulas in chain rule. Number one, dy over dx is equal to 1 over dx over dy. Number two, dy over dx is equal to dy over du times du over dx. And number three is equal to dy over du all over dx over du. Among the three, the second is the one we are going to use to solve time rates problems. If we are going to pair this formula to our calculator that is capable of solving differentiation, then it's a boom! Let us dive to some examples. Example number one. Let us say that we have a girl on a wharf and she is pulling a raft tied to a rope. And let us call S the length of the rope that is out. She is pulling the rope at the rate of 0.9 meter per second. The symbol for that is ds over dt, that is the rate of change of s. Again, let us say that her hand is 3.8 meters above the water level. Our question here is, how fast is the raft approaching the wharf? If we call the distance between the raft and the wharf x, what is required is dx over dt. Let us watch this short animation representing the movement of the raft as it approaches the wharf. Let us now do the calculation. From the right triangle, we can apply Pythagorean theorem. So the x is equal to the square root of s squared minus 3.8 squared. To solve for the dx over dt, we need this formula. The derivative of the square root of u is equal to du all over 2 square root of u. We are differentiating the right side of the equation with respect to t. So the derivative of that square root of s squared minus 3.8 squared is equal to 2s times ds over dt all over 2 square root of s squared minus 3.8 squared. And from this result, we can cancel out 2. As we can see in the result of our differentiation, dx over dt will vary according to the value of s. This equation represents the speed of the raft as it approaches the wharf. Again, let us say that we are interested on how fast is the raft when there is 6 meters of rope out. So we can find dx over dt by plugging in 6 to s in our equation. And take note that ds over dt is given and that is 0.9. How fast is the raft approaching the wharf when there is 6 meters of rope out? This is the answer. Our solution here is very straightforward because we have this formula for the derivative of the square root of u. This formula actually is a variation of a power formula with n is equal to 1 half. The purpose of this video, however, is to do our calculation using the chain rule. To do it, let us write our dx over dt in this way. Notice that our equation x is a function of s. So we can write our chain rule in the form of dx over ds times ds over dt. For us to see how to do this in our calculator, let us write this equation in this way. Now dx over dt is equal to d over ds of x and apply the condition when s is equal to 6 meters times ds over dt. times 0 0.9 for ds over dt, we have this answer. Note, however, that in using this formula, we don't need to write this line. All we need is our equation, then our condition, then go directly to our calculator to find the answer. Let us go to example number 2. We have a boat that is pushed off from the shore at the rate of 8 feet per second. And the hands of the man that is holding the rope tied to the boat is 4 feet from the water level. The distance traveled by the boat is simply velocity times time. The velocity is 8 and let us say the time is t. We have the distance 8 times t. We are required to find how fast the angle of elevation of the rope is decreasing after 1 second. Similar to example number 1, we have this short animation that will show us 
how this angle of elevation of the rope decreasing. From the figure, tangent of theta is opposite for over the adjacent 8t. Therefore, theta is arctangent of 4 over 8t. How fast is the angle theta decreasing? We are actually required to find d theta over dt. To solve for d theta over dt, we need this formula for the derivative of the arctangent of u. Are you familiar with this formula? The derivative of the arctangent of u is du all over 1 plus u squared. From our equation, our u is equal to 4 all over 8t. That is equal to 1 over 2t. We are going to differentiate our equation with respect to t. du over dt therefore is negative 2 all over 4t squared or negative 1 all over 2t raised to 2. Our u squared is 1 all over 4t squared. What is the theta over dt after 1 second? Substitute t is equal to 1 to our equation, negative 0.4 radian per second. The negative in our answer indicates that our theta is really decreasing. Now let us go to the use of our calculator to solve this problem. We do not recommend that you will not memorize the formula. Our purpose is to show you how to use our calculator in solving directly this problem. the answer negative 0.4 radian per second now let us go to example number three we have this hemispherical dome at the circumference of the dome there is a spotlight and at the middle of the dome there is a balloon that is released vertically at a given rate let us say four meters per second the spotlight will follow the balloon so the balloon will cast a shadow at the roof of the dome this is the path of the shadow on the roof. The question here is, how fast is the shadow moves along the roof? Let us call the distance traveled by the shadow as s. And let us say that the radius of this dome is 50 meters. So we are looking for ds over dt. Note, however, that even if the balloon will rise at a constant rate of 4 meters per second, the shadow of the balloon will not move at a constant rate. To understand the situation, we have this movement of the balloon at equal intervals of time. Near the ground, the balloon will move at longer arcs compared when it is far from the ground. The more obvious is the comparison of the movement of the shadow when the balloon is nearest to the ground and when it is nearest to the top. So to make our question specific, how fast is the shadow of the balloon moves along the roof? when the balloon is 25 meters high. Let us call this angle at the spotlight theta. From our diagram, theta is an angle at the circumference of the circle, and it intercepted the arc S. At the center of the circle at B, the angle is 2 theta, because it also intercepted the same arc S. If you want to learn more, about the relationship between central angle and inscribed angle, see the link provided above. The link is also available at the description of this video below. Let us again have some short animation on the movement of the shadow on the roof as the balloon moves vertically up. Tangent theta is opposite y over 50. Therefore, theta is arctangent of y over 50. The length of arc s is equal to radius times the central angle. So in this case, it is equal to 50 times 2 theta. And that is equal to 100 of theta. s therefore is equal to 100 times the arctangent of y over 50. So we are required to find ds over dt. And again, we have this formula for the derivative of the arctangent of u. 
For this equation, our u is equal to y over 50. The derivative of that with respect to time is 1 over 50 times dy over dt. All over 1 plus u is squared. Now when y is equal to 25, how fast is s? Now, ds over dt is equal to 100 times 1 over 50 times dy over dt which is equal to 4 all over 1 plus y is 25 all over 50 raised to 2. We've got an answer of 6.4 meters per second. Now let us go to the chain rule. From the equation s, let us go directly to our calculator d over dy of s when y is 25 meters times dy over dt. From our calculator, we have the result of 1.6 times dy over dt, which is equal to 4. We also have the answer of 6.4 meters per second. And for our fourth and last example, we have this light on the ground. It is 5 meters from the wall. A wheel is rolling from the light towards the wall. Let us say that the radius of this wheel is 0.5 meters. This is the light ray. The wheel will cast a shadow on the wall. Let's call its length y. And let us say that the distance between the light and the wheel is x. And let us say that the linear speed of this wheel is 1 meter per second. That is dx over dt. The question here is, how fast is the shadow on the wall changing when the wheel is midway between the light and the wall? We can see that the shadow on the wall is shortening. To find its rate, let us draw a line from the center of the wheel to the light. And these two angles are equal. Let us call each theta. For now, we have the short animation for the movement of shadow on the wall. Tangent theta is opposite 0 0.5 over the adjacent x. Therefore, theta is equal to arc tangent of 0.5 over x. Tangent of 2 theta is equal to opposite y all over the adjacent 5. y therefore is 5 tangent to theta. Substitute theta to our equation. So we have y is equal to 5 tangent of 2 arc tangent of 0 0.5 all over x. This is the great advantage of using time rates. Because we are doing this in our calculator, we can create more complicated equation. We can find dy over dt very easily. But for the sake of discussion, let us differentiate this manually. dy over dt is equal to 5. The derivative of the tangent is second squared of the angle. The angle here is 2 times the arc tangent of 0 0.5 all over x. It's pretty long angle. Times the derivative of the angle, which is 2 times negative 0 0.5 all over x squared all over the quantity 1 plus 0 0.5 all over x raised to 2. That is the derivative of the arc tangent actually. And don't forget that we are differentiating with respect to t, so we have dx over dt. Simplify the equation, we have negative 5 all over the quantity x squared plus 0 0.25, cosine squared of 2, arc tangent of 0 0.5 all over x times dx over dt. Now let us do this using the chain rule. Set your calculator into region mode and plug in this equation into your calculator. Thank you for watching. If you have a question, we will do the best we can.